Have you ever been at the casino and you're betting on the point, whether it be the pass line or place betting the point? That seven comes and it seems like that number that you were betting on, whether it be on the pass line or placing the point, always comes after that seven. Well, in today's video, I got a strategy for you called the out and up. We'll hop over to the table. Let's explain it out. We'll roll it out and let's see if we can take advantage of betting the point after that seven comes. What's up everyone, Chris the Dice DGen here. If you are new, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. I appreciate you stopping by again. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications, drop a like on the video, it helps the YouTube algorithm push my videos out to more people. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's hop into the reason why we are here today. The out and up, all right? Uh, if you're familiar with football, it is a football route that receivers run, okay? But today, I'm going to turn it into a crap strategy. And the reason why I came up with this is because of my experience playing in the casino, rolling down on my table here, and then watching other YouTubers and their rollouts. It seems that um, when a point is on, right? So let's say like a nine's the point, right? And then the seven comes. It seems like that nine is rolled within quick succession after that seven comes. So. So I were calling it the out and up. So whatever the point is, seven out comes, all right? We're going up, out and up on the point, whatever that was, and the sister number. So in this example, it would be the nine and the five. Um, I've rolled it out a few different times with just placing whatever the point was. And I found that um, incorporating the sister number in there helps um, quite a bit. Now, how this strategy works is we're going to wait for a point to be established. So again, let's say it's the nine. Okay. Once the seven comes, all right. So if the nine is hit, we're, we're still waiting. All right. Once the seven comes, we're going to go up on the nine and the five. So whatever the point was, and this is the number for a quarter each. Now I picked the quarter because it makes math pretty easy. Um, you can do it at different levels, obviously up to you. And we're looking for a hit on the five or the nine. All right. We're only going to leave it up for two rolls. We are working on the next come out. All right. And um, so that's what we're going to do today. All right. Um, sorry. Let me turn my phone on. Do not disturb because I know things are coming in. All right. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on for two hits. I found that leaving it on for more than two hits, there seems to be uh, some the seven comes and it just doesn't work out too well. But if we do get knocked off this, we're going to ladder up, all right? So we're going to use like a Wayland type ladder, or we're going to double our bet. Now, if you're on the six or the eight, you have to place it for 30 uh, to make the bet proper, all right? And uh, let's see how it goes. Now, I would recommend this as like a side strategy. You can play it as a main strategy for sure. Uh, the only thing is that it is a little bit boring, and you'll see why uh, as we go. But um, I have a $500 bankroll here. Yes, that's not really a side strategy type bankroll. But again, I'm playing at the quarter level. If you wanted to scale it down uh, for like a side bet type thing, you certainly could do that. All right. Um, so without further ado, 500 bucks, let's see what happens here. All right. So like I said, it can get a little boring. We're going to be waiting in the beginning. All right. So coming out, looking for a point. That's a 516. All right. 516. That'll be the point. Sorry, the lights are a little shiny on that. Uh, five, one, six, that'll be the point. All right, so now we're waiting for the seven, okay? Or big red, the dreaded number in all of craps. There's a six, two, eight, sister to the six. And there's a five, one, six, all right? So point hit right away, or not really right away, but quick succession, all right? So puck is off, we're waiting for a new point to come out. And there's a five, four, center field nine. All right, that'll be the new point. Okay. And um, again, we're still waiting for that big red. There's box cars, midnight. All right. This is what I'm saying. It can get a little bit boring here. Um, if you're playing it alongside something else, that can definitely work out well. All right. So there's a 617. Okay. So nine was the point. It's off now. We're going to come for a quarter on the five and a quarter on the nine. Again, nine was the last point. We're grabbing the sister as well. All right. We're working on the come out. Here we go. And just like that, Six three nine, so the seven came. The point was hit right after that. All right, so nine's the new point. 
All right, we have a $25 nine that's gonna get paid 35, all right? And we're taking our bets down. And we're just gonna rack this. All right, I'm gonna put the, the wins over here, okay? And uh, now we're waiting for Big Red again. And five, four, nine, all right? So that's the point hit, all right? We're still waiting, okay? And there's a 617 on the come out. Doesn't hurt us, doesn't help us. We're just kind of sipping our drink, doing whatever we're doing. There's a 437 back to back. That's a natural shooter right there. Um, wow. Trip sevens in a row. All right. And there's an ace, deuce, three craps. That's four rolls. We've had three sevens and a craps number. So, um, you know, if you're on the pass line or don't pass, that's affecting you. For us, nothing really going on. All right. Uh, four, two, six. That'll be our new point. All right. Here we go. And there's a four, three, seven. All right. So the sevens are popping right now, but let's hopefully we can avoid that. All right. So uh, we won on the last one. So we're still at the, the one unit level. All right. So now we're going to place it for $30 on the six and the eight. All right. And um, two rolls. All right. Here we go. There's a hard 10. That's the new point. All right. That was one roll. We're up for one more. And there's a five, three, eight. All right. So six was the point. This is why I like grabbing the sister number. All right. So five, three, eight. It's also going to get paid 35. All right. And we're coming down on our bets. And I'm going to rack this 35 over here. All right. So right now we still have our $500 right here. We're up $70 using uh, this strategy so far. All right. We've had two sevens that have knocked the point off and we've had two hits. Um, one was right after and the other one was a sister number, uh, not the next roll, but the following roll. All right. So 10 the point. Now we're waiting for, you know, big red point, whatever. And there's a 617. All right. So that came out. Now we are going to drop a quarter on the four and the 10. All right. Here we go. And there's a hard eight, a square pair. That'll be our new point. All right. And there's a three, two, five. All right. Three, two, five. So that was our second roll. We're taking these bets down. Now, it's up to you if you really want to leave those up or not. I personally find in my rollouts that those two rolls are really the key. If we don't get it in those two rolls, um, I don't like being exposed on those that kind of number because it's it's not really a big like type strategy it's more or less like trying to grab the point after the seven comes all right so that's just my thoughts on the whole thing if you want to change it up by all means any you know creator youtube creator anyone who's watching this video if you want to take it and run with this by all means go for it let me know what you think let me know what you do to it all right um so now the eight's the point we're just waiting all right there's a four two six doesn't matter for us Six three nine, six two eight. All right, so that's the point hit. And now, if you notice, we've been uh, we've been down for three full rolls, and we haven't had a four or a ten come. So that's I don't like leaving the exposure up there. Again, I'd be playing this alongside something else, though. All right, so um, that's the thing. Uh, six three nine. That's our new point. There's a six four ten. There it is. All right. So we would have got paid if we would have left our bets up, but I'm telling you, I've found in my rollouts that it uh, hasn't been too friendly. Uh, that's a hard six. Doesn't matter for us. Uh, there's a five, three, easy eight. There's a five, one, six. There's a six, two, easy eight. And there's a six, one, seven. All right. So. Buck's going to come off. It was on the nine. We're grabbing the nine and the five for a quarter each. All right. Here we go. And there's a four, two, six. That'll be our new point. All right. And there's a hard eight. Sister to the six. That was two rolls. We're coming down now. All right. And we're just waiting now. Um, I did. I don't think I mentioned this. Um, so I do want to mention it. When we do have a number and if the seven comes and we ladder up um if there was a point so let's say we sevened right after that six was rolled 
Um, we were on the five and nine, and we were supposed to ladder up from there. We're going to ladder to the six and the eight. We're always following what the latest point was. All right. So even if we were on different numbers, we're always following what the latest point was. All right. So now we're just waiting again. So why I'm saying it can get a tad boring, but you know, if you're just there for good old time, by all means, uh, there's the five, four, nine came out there. There's a hard six. All right. So that will be the point hit. It's coming off. There's a five, one, six. We're back on that six. Uh, there's a five, three, eight. Sorry, dice rolled. It was a five, three. There's a three, two, five. There's another three, two, five. Repeater on the three, two. There's a six, two, easy eight. There's a five, three, easy eight. We're hammering these inside box numbers right now. There's a six, five, mid mo, yo. Chiro, go check him out. There's a five, four, center field nine. There's an ace, deuce, three craps. There's a hard 10 down on the end. A long roll here for this shooter. Random Randy. Got a decent roll going. There's a 5-3, easy 8. All right, again, this is why I say you play it along with something else. I mean, if it is your main strategy, by all means, you know, do what you do. But personally, I'd be playing this with something else. Um, maybe I'll make a few future videos, like, with playing it alongside another strategy. Uh, let me know down in the comments if that's what you guys want to see. All right, so there was a 6-1-7. Last point was 6. All right, so we're grabbing the 6 and the 8 for 30 each. All right. And uh, here we go. And we got a 5-4, center field 9. All right. That was roll number 1. And there's a hard 6. So the last point was a 6. The next roll was a 9. And two rolls were hitting that 6 again. All right. So that's another $35 winner. We're still at level 1. Um, I haven't had to ladder up. Um, right now, we are $105 in the profit. All right, so if you are playing for like a 20% wing goal, you're at your wing goal already. All right, uh, so you're up to 105 right now. Nine's the point. We're sitting here having a good time. Uh, there's a 639. All right, so that hit. Puck is off. There's a hard four. That'll be the next point. And there's a midnight. There's a 516. 639. 639 again. There's a 6410 down on the end. There's an ace deuce, three craps. Five four center field nine six three center field nine. There's a six five mid mo yo. There's a five three easy eight. And there's a four three seven. All right, so four three came. Four was the last point. Again, we're still at the first level, all right? We got a four and a 10, all right? Because four was the point. We're uh, grabbing the sister number as well. Here we go. And there's a five, one, six. That's the next point, all right? And there's a hard six. So uh, that's a buckshot there on the six, all right? That was two rolls. We're taking our bets down, all right? We're just waiting. That's why I say it can get a bit boring. This is why we wait. There's a 617. On the come out, though, for this shooter, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, there's a hard six. We're back on the six. There's a 5-3, easy eight. There's a 3-2-5. 
and there's a four three seven. All right, so we're gonna go up on the five or the six and the eight. Again, thirty each. All right, two rolls. Here we go. And there's a hard ten. That'll be our new point. All right. And buck shot again. Easy ten. All right. So that was two rolls. Again, we're down. All right. And uh, we're waiting here. There's an ace deuce, three craps. Doesn't matter for us. And there's a six one seven. Sorry, it's in the corner. It's a six one seven on the come out. Doesn't matter. There's a six three nine center field. That'll be our new point. All right. There's six four ten. There's a four one five. There's an ace deuce, three craps. There's a four three seven. All right, so five or sorry, nine was the point. We're gonna grab the nine for a quarter and the five for a quarter. All right, here we go. There's a four two six. That'll be our new point. All right, and that was roll number one. And all right, here we go. Now I can show the ladder. All right, so we're gonna lose here. All right, six was the point. Now we're off the six. All right, so now we're going to go with, we're going to double our bet. So it's going to be $50 on the four, five, nine. Uh, it's going to be 60 on the six and eight just to make it proper. All right. And uh, here we go. And there's a six, five mid mo yo. Doesn't matter for us. And ooh, four, three, seven. All right. So we have. We lose at that level. Now we're going up to the next level. All right. So it's going to look like um, 120 on the six and the eight. Now it's clenching time. All right. Now it's clenching time. Here we go. And there it is. Five, one, six. All right. That was our last point. There's the point now. All right. So the 120 is going to get paid 140. All right. Um, and we're just going to rack all of this. We're going back down to level one next time. And, um, I'm glad that actually happened. So I can, I can show you the, the ladder. All right. Um, so six is the point now. All right. Uh, let's run this out. How long is this video? Um, I'll finish this out to a seven, but this is going to be the last, the last, uh, roller here. Cause I don't want to make this a super long video. It's kind of a, you know, a little fun strategy, uh, a little side strategy. I don't want to make it super long. Uh, there's a hard 10, six is the point. I don't think I said that. Uh, there's a six, three, nine in the corner there. There's box cars. There's an ace, deuce, three cracks. It's a back to back horn number. There's a hard 10. And there's the four, three, seven. All right. So at this point is when you go back up on uh, your bets, but um, I'm going to call it a day there. All right. I don't want to, like I said, I don't make the video super long. Um, let's see where we are. We started with 500 bucks. All right. Um, so after that ladder, uh, we could really use one more hit, but we're still in profit. All right. Um, so there's 500 there. Here's another 50 and that's 75 bucks. So 75 bucks there. Um, again, it's not going to be a real big winner, um, but a little fun side strategy you could play. Um, again, if there's any YouTube creators or people who are watching this video who want to take it and kind of run with it and do something else, by all means, please do. Again, let me know if you do, uh, because I want to take a look at it for one. Um, and two, um, maybe we'll turn it into something. I don't know. Appreciate all the comments and stuff, what people think about it. Uh, I would appreciate it. All right. So again, that is the D gen out and up. All right. And, uh, fun little side strategy. You could play it as a main strategy. You can scale it depending on what your table minimum is. All right. Um, I just picked the quarter level cause it's easy for me to do the math on the quarters on the hundreds. It would be easy as well, but, um, 
you guys know me. I don't go with hundreds and thousands of dollars to the bank uh, with, wow, I can't talk. Hundreds or thousands, I do go with hundreds, but I don't go with thousands of dollars as my bankroll to the casino. So I'm trying to be realistic with this, all right? Uh, but again, this is the DGEN out and up. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you're not subscribed already, please do consider subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.